though Matt Peckham grew up milking and doing chores on a dairy farm near Woodstock, Connecticut, his family encouraged him to study something different in college. After earning an associate's degree in public policy from Eastern Connecticut State University, Matt decided the farm was his calling after all, and he took over the operation in 2005. Due to health issues in the family, the farm had fallen into disrepair. Of the 86 cows on the place, only 50 were milking. The machinery and buildings were in poor condition, and few of the heifers were bred. Well, six years later, the farm has a new freestall barn, a new calf barn, and 140 cows. Most of the equipment has been replaced, and last year, Matt added a 1.4 million gallon manure storage facility. Timed AI and the use of sexed semen have resulted in 100% internal herd growth. Conservation is a high priority, especially controlling runoff and monitoring the farm for nitrates and pathogens that could potentially affect the local watershed. Matt practices minimal tillage as much as possible and uses rye as a cover crop. He incorporates liquid manure into the ground to minimize any chance of nitrogen breaking down and manure running off the land. His long-term goal is to develop a single-pass tillage system that allows the corn crop to reach its potential. Another goal is to make the farm as open to the public as possible. The farm regularly hosts school tour groups and other activities, including a walk for a local conservation group. Matt is active in the State Farm Bureau, lobbying for a safety net to bolster the price of milk and testifying before the Environment Committee because he believes that young people need to learn about the viability of small farms. Matt has also hosted a college intern on the farm. Matt contends that his wife, Chrissy, holds one of the most important positions on the farm as a stay-at-home mom to their four children. It's their hope that 10-year-old Caleb, 7-year-old Grace, 2-year-old Graham, and 1-year-old Tucker will become the seventh generation to run the family farm. Growing up on the family farm near Newington, Georgia, Andy Owens developed a love for farming in the outdoors that led him home after completing two years at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College. Working with local farmers in South Georgia and Florida during college gave Andy a different perspective on farming, and he began his own operation with 30 acres of peanuts while continuing to farm with his father, raising corn, cotton, and cattle. He has now assumed most of the management of his father's operation of 1,600 acres in addition to his own 400 acres of rented land. Andy's goal in farming has transitioned from producing as much as possible to making the land more efficient. Strip tillage and minimum tillage have replaced most of the cultivation practices that were in place when he began farming. Soil sampling aids in identifying soil needs, and Andy uses variable rate applications for fertilizer and plant growth regulators. Controlled grazing and weed control are also utilized to maintain the health of the land. New water lines, ponds for irrigation, terraces, grass waterways, and drain tiles help Andy manage water resources on the property. Buffer strips and food plots assist in establishing healthy wildlife habitats. In the eight years he has been farming, Andy has experienced three years of weather-related disaster, two years of drought, one year of excessive moisture. Those challenges, in addition to the volatility of commodity prices in the U.S. and in global markets, have compelled him to implement risk management tools, including more forward contracting of crops. His partnership with his father has provided Andy with access to land, equipment, cattle, and knowledge of production agriculture that has helped sustain the farm through the challenging times. Andy is active in the County Young Farmer Organization and Farm Bureau. He serves as a member of the advisory board to the Georgia Peanut Commission and is president of the County Livestock Association. His wife, Christy, is self-employed as a hairstylist and raises the couple's two children, Elias, four, and Ray, one.
Five acres of rented land was all it took to launch the farming career of Andrew Bowman of Oneida, Illinois. Andrew was just 12 years old when he sold his first corn crop for $2.13 a bushel. At age 14, he learned that even cleaning manure from farrowing crates could not deter him from a life in agriculture. He was named the FFA American Star Farmer two years prior to earning a degree in crop science from the University of Illinois. Throughout college, Andrew was purchasing land and acquiring more responsibility on the family farm, which he now operates with his father. He also works at his family's crop insurance agency and owns his own crop scouting business. To say that Andrew is a progressive farmer is an understatement. This fifth-generation producer employs the latest techniques and technologies on his farm, keeping up with current research to improve his yields and profitability. Implementing research from the University of Illinois, Andrew reduced his nitrogen application by 35 pounds with no loss in yield. He has tested the prophylactic application of fungicides and insecticides and began pest monitoring to determine which biotechnology traits are necessary in his fields. He has applied novel chemicals designed to mimic plant hormones and minimize plant stress via reduced ethylene levels during critical growth stages. This year, Andrew plans to test novel seed treatments applied with an inoculator mounted to his new seed tender. In the future, he hopes to diversify the farm with another commodity to offer risk management and income growth opportunities. Andrew considers drainage and no-till farming as his primary means of conservation. No-till practices are employed on all of his acres, even in corn following corn cropping. He has established waterways for surface drainage and tile for subsurface drainage. Andrew believes that the more responsible farmers are in caring for the land, the more likely they are to gain favor with consumers. Andrew's wife, Carly, is employed as a media manager off the farm and handles the farm and family ag business publicity as well. The couple is active in the Farm Bureau and church, and Andrew serves as the County Corn Growers Association secretary and is active in the FFA alumni. Working as a John Deere salesman following his graduation from Louisiana State University with a degree in ag business gave Ryan Yerby an important perspective on the industry. He realized the importance of balancing a farm's needs with what was financially feasible for the operation, a skill he now uses as he manages the family farm near Colfax, Louisiana raising row crops, pecans, hay, and cattle. His initial goals when returning to the farm were to expand to 5,000 acres, raise 500 head of cattle, and have enough employees to enable him to take weekends off. Well, it didn't take long for reality to force Ryan to revise his goals, which now include precision leveling and irrigating every acre of the farm. By clearing existing waterways to provide unrestricted water delivery and establishing four wells and pipeline systems, Ryan has created a way to sustain his water supply using the bayous on the property as reservoirs. An added benefit of the project is that several species of wildlife, including the American alligator, make the reclaimed areas their habitat. In order to minimize the necessary training for employees, Ryan has installed precision guidance systems on the farm equipment, upgrading when possible to provide more accuracy and efficiency. He has also taken advantage of on-farm storage facilities to give him greater flexibility in marketing, making his income less susceptible to the unpredictable markets. Purchasing a truck and hopper bottom has allowed Ryan to deliver his own crops to the market, eliminating his reliance on the short supply of trucks for hire. 
As a third generation farmer, Ryan considers his most important asset to be the presence of his father on the farm with him, sharing the knowledge of a lifetime of farming. Ryan's wife, Danielle, is also supportive of Ryan's farming career. In addition to her job at a community nonprofit organization, she handles the farm finances and is constantly on call to deliver parts to the field. Ryan's community involvement includes his church, the Freemasons, Farm Service Agency, County Committee, Local and State Cattlemen's Association, Water System Board, Pecan Festival Association, AGR Fraternity, and Ag Alumni Association. A row of soybeans planted in his sandbox marked the beginning of Thad Sharp's dream of becoming a farmer. From those humble beginnings, he expanded to a garden plot of butter beans and peas, and he now farms 2,450 acres in three counties near Sims, North Carolina. He has not forgotten his roots, and he regularly takes eight-year-old Thad and two-year-old McLean with him, even if it means slowing his pace to accommodate his two boys. Family is his first priority, followed by producing a high-yielding, high-quality crop. After graduating from North Carolina State University, Thad returned to the family farm that has a history of being progressive, realizing the benefits of sand removal for his tobacco buyers, as well as the benefit of reducing labor expenses. Thad installed one of the first field-to-bale tobacco handling systems that cuts labor by 40% and remove sand, foreign materials, and off-color scrap tobacco. With a variety of soils on the farm ranging from Sandy to Piedmont, employing techniques to prevent erosion has been critical. Waterways, terraces, and field borders are used to limit runoff and improve water quality and absorption. Cotton is planted strip-till into a wheat cover crop or soybean residue. Soybeans are planted in twin rows following the same tillage requirements. Early fall establishment of a cover crop prior to a crop of tobacco or sweet potatoes protects the soil during the winter. The swine operation uses recycled water, saving 4,000 gallons of fresh water daily. In addition to field crops, the farm also entails 350 acres of timberland, which is managed by thinning, harvest, prescribed burns, and herbicide applications, all with a thriving wildlife population in mind. Food plots are planted for deer, small game, and birds, and predator populations are managed. Thad's extensive community involvement includes the County Young Farmers Association, Livestock Association, Chamber of Commerce, Cooperative Extension Service Foundation, the Certified Crop Advisor Board, County Fair Board, Farm Bureau, Ducks Unlimited, Tobacco Growers Association, Church, 4-H, Youth Athletic Association, and PTO. His wife, Donna, is a high school counselor.